As many schools make the transition to a Google environment, they find themselves straddling two worlds. Some, uh, some of the stuff they do is still created using the Microsoft Office suite, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and some is created using the new Google Drive suite um, of uh, Docs, Slides, and Sheets. And the problem is that you can actually end up with both in your collection. So if I go into my Google Drive, for example, and and I click on here to say this uh, shared with me file. So here's a bunch of files that other people have created and shared with me. And you can see some of these files are still in native Word document format. So for example, you see all these ones with the blue W's. Um, they were not created as native Google Docs. They were created as Word files, but they've been shared by dropping them into a drive and sharing it. Now, it's, we could debate about the, <laughs> the sensibility of doing that. Um, but the point is, I've got them. Now, if I open them, so this, this gap timetable, for example, that will actually open up and it will display fine in Drive, but it's not editable. Other files, so for example, if I was to look at, say, um, this mathematics program here, so this is a Google Doc, but if I open it, you can see, because it had tables in it, the tables don't actually show. And so it's a bit inconvenient that if you put a table into a document, that's what you end up with. This Google also have an app called Quick Office, and Quick Office was a company that made a, an iPhone, or sorry, an iOS app um, a couple of years ago that was designed to produce documents that were compatible with Microsoft Office. Google acquired that company and have integrated that technology into their tools. So if I open Quick Office, you can see it takes me in here. And let's just find, say here's a Word document here, this year 10 Homeroom Term 4. And you can see the small blue W there indicates it is a Word document. So it's a Word document that's stored in my drive. I'm actually looking into my drive here. And when I open that Word document, what it will do is it will download and open it as a Word document. So this is, I'm seeing the table. You can see there's a couple of merged cells along the top there. So there's things in here that Google Drive, even, even Google Drive tables, doesn't support. But because I'm opening it as a native Word document, I can read it. Now, not only can I read it, but in fact, if I tap into this document, I can in fact edit it as well. So you can see if I just backspace there, I can actually remove, I won't actually edit this document because it's somebody else's, but um, you can see I can actually make changes to the document. You can see the one above it, this Kate Birch visible learning uh, doc here. You can see from the icon, it is in fact a Google doc. If I was to open that, it actually throws me from Quick Office back to Drive and then opens it up in Drive, seeing it is actually a Google Docs app. And you can see there it is there, um, just as you'd expect. So Quick Office is a great way to be able to look at native Word file formats uh, on the iPad.